Sandy from Sandy's Books and Beauty for the Ages. I'm back. I'm taking a brief respite out of bed from my pain problems. And yeah, they're still going on. Just doesn't seem to want to let up. I have to go back to the pain clinic again this afternoon and see if they can do anything. Um, it seems like I have something called sacroiliitis, which is an inflammation of the joints. Your sacroiliac bones, the joints in between, you know, your tailbone and your hip bones. So that seems to be what the big major medical problem is. So I'm still in bed most of the time, but I thought I'd go and get up and try and get a couple of videos done. So welcome back to my channel, everybody. And if you're new here, welcome to the family. Glad to have you. Thanks for spending a few minutes of your day with me, especially the minutes of the day while I'm out of bed. I don't want to spend, send a special shout out to Kim from Kim's A Little of A Lot. I know she's not feeling too hot, so I'm hoping she feels better soon. Okay, so what are we doing today? Today, I'm very excited to share with you my Scooby-Doo Times Glen Light box. I am so excited about this. I've played with it a few times. I have it on now. Um, probably not the best eye makeup job today, but it's kind of hard when you're squirming around. But this is what she looks like on the front. And then this is the side. So let's see, we get another side there with the little evil knight. And then we've got haunted houses on the back with bats. I'm really surprised that this box didn't come out on Halloween, but I am really happy to have it. I'm an original Scooby-Doo fan from way back when. <laughs> way back when. So, yeah, if you want to see what's inside this box, oh my thoughts on opinions, stay tuned. Okay, so first we're going to open her up. Now, this is the PR box. Um, I paid for it, of course. I didn't get it for free. But you could get the PR box. And there's lots and lots of different price options. And I will have them up on the screen as I'm editing. So you can see what everything costs if you wanted to buy it separate. Okay. So the first thing in here that I'm going to show you is um, the Scooby-Doo Haunted Eyelashes. I don't know if you can see them, but they're pretty big. And pretty fluffy and dramatic. Um, I'll take them out of the box, but I won't touch them because I'm going to put these in a giveaway. So that's what they look like. Yeah, I don't know. Not for me so much, but. You know, it's it's fine. That's what comes in the PR box. A lot of people wear eyelashes, but I'm a uh, natural lash gal. Okay, next in the box. And this is, um, I love this. This is the Batscara. And this was how the collection was actually inspired. If you were ever on Instagram, I'm sure you've seen things by Duels the Bunny. She makes lots of eye palettes for lots of companies, so she created this. And then the inside of it looks like that. It's really kind of cute. And I'll show you the wand because I've actually been using it. That's yeah, what it looks like. It's a good sized wand. I like it. I'm not entirely sure, but I think this is the first time they've done mascara it could be wrong though okay then there are oh let's do this first then there is what's called bat eyes <laughs> i love this packaging it's just it's adorable this is a liquid liner which i do have on i managed to put it on i'm not great at it but that is what it looks like just really cool packaging again I will swatch this for you so you can see it. And you can also see the fact that it doesn't move. It does end up drying down. It is black. It's your basic black liquid eyeliner. 
nice skinny little brush to make things a little easier. So that's the bat scara. No, the bat eyes. I should have bat scara. <clears throat> then it comes with three different lipsticks. Let me see if I can get them all up. So that's what the lipsticks look like. Again, a really cute packaging. <clears throat> the first one here is, uh, oh my lord, I can't read it. Jeepers, Jeepers? Jeepers lipstick. And that's what I have on right now. And um, that's what she looks like. And this formula is really um, creamy and it wears well. Pop some in the back of my hands, so you can see it. It kind of looks like that. Okay. And the, <clears throat> the inside packaging, it's got a cute little spider web on the bottom of it. And I think there are spiders and stuff on the actual lipstick. Although it's hard for me to see it. But they are there. Okay. The next lipstick is... Zombie lipstick. Does it say zombie lipstick? No, Zoinks lipstick. Sorry. Zoinks. That's what Shaggy says. Zoinks. Is it Shaggy? Zoinks! Or Velma. Maybe Velma. Okay, so that's what this looks like. It's a nice, really pretty dark color. Pop it down a little bit so I don't end up making a big mess. But that's what that looks like. It's a very pretty dark reddish plum lipstick. So that's gorgeous. And then we have... The last one here. And that one says Rut Row Lipstick. Ah, <clears throat> oh, boy. Ooh, Rut Row. Rut Row. That's a common misconception. It was actually Astro from the. We know Scooby says that. Okay, and again, get that really cool packaging detail. And this is like a nude kind of pinky color. Maybe more in a little brownish, like brown pink color. And that's what she looks like. So that's cute. Okay, next what we have in here is not one, but two eye makeup palettes. There are two makeup palettes in here. So we'll go over the first one, which is the Creeps and Crawls 10 Shade Palette from Glamite. I mean, just look at that packaging. It's so cool. I love the packaging on this. Here's what the inside looks like. Okay, and these, the colors are not numbered. There's an insert here that just says one through 10 on them. And this is what the colors look like. As you can tell, I've been digging into this thing. I am gonna insert a video with the swatches so you can really see what the colors look like because they're pretty, they're pretty bright. And the mattes, um, they're really blendable. Some of them are, I don't know, some of them aren't as blendable as I'd like, but for the most part, the, the mattes are fantastic, and the shimmers are just unbelievable. You just, like I said, I had to insert some swatches of these so you can actually see them. And let's go to palette number two. Palette number two is Rut Row Raggy 10 Shade Palette. Again, gorgeous artwork on the cover. And then let me take her out. We got Scooby and Shaggy on the cover. And then on the mirror, there's like a little monster, but I don't want to blind you. And that is what these colors look like. 
So all together, I mean, everything goes well with each other. And I mean, so far this thing has been like a lot of fun to use. And I get to keep all this lovely packaging. Okay, so we have one more thing in here and that would be the, grab it out, and be the highlighter. And I think this is the coolest packaging out of the whole thing. This is what the box looks like. And then we've got this, which I'm trying, let me shut the ring light off for one second so you can see this a little better. Hopefully, okay. So it does this. So that is like really, really neat. I kind of like that. Okay, so let me show you the inside. Again, we have a mirror. <clears throat> and these are the highlighters. I mean, it's a little hard to see the shifts in there, but you've got this purple. It's like purple with a little bit of green on the top. And then there's like more of a green, more of a green down the bottom. So let me swatch these for you so you can see them. Hopefully. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I probably should have done a swatch video of these, but let's see. Maybe not. I don't know if this is going to show. Oh, yeah, it does. There you go. So there's the colors of the highlighter. And as you can see, I have the green one on my face today. And that's it. So you can, you know, buy all of these separately. You can buy everything all together. And you can buy everything all together with the collectible box, which is what I did. Um, I don't usually go crazy like that with... I mean, I've got a lot of Glam Life palettes, but I usually don't go for the PR box. Um, I did with the Barbie collection because, you know, it's nostalgia. And, and Scooby-Doo, of course, is my thing. So um, let me know below what you thought of what I just dropped on the floor. Um, yeah. And please don't forget to give this video a like, a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and it would help my channel. If you're not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for future notifications of all my videos. And that's it for this one, everybody. We've wrapped up another one. And I hope you stay beautiful, stay blessed, stay healthy, and stay true to yourself. Bye. See you guys later. See you in the next one.